Hey everyone, today's video is about 1. He wakes up to you throwing up. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And let's get going. Katsuki Bakugo. You slowly open your eyes, feeling groggy as you wake up to the sound of reaching. Sitting up in bed, you see Bakugo, your boyfriend, kneeling beside you. Worry etched on his face as he holds your hair back. Baby, are you okay? He asks, concern racing in his voice. He groans and responds, feeling awful as a wave of nausea hits you. I think I ate something bad. He managed to choke out before succumbing to a round of vomiting. Bakugo keeps holding a trash can underneath you. His hand rubs circles on your back as he helps you through it. Damn it. You should have told me you weren't feeling well last night. He scolds you gently, his worry turning into frustration at your discomfort. I thought it would pass. You admit weakly, feeling embarrassed and miserable all at once. He helps you to the bathroom, supporting you as you wash your face and rinse your mouth. Once you've settled back in bed, he disappears into the kitchen, returning with a glass of water and some crackers. Here, try to eat a little. He urges, handing you the food and watching you closely as you nibble on it. You sigh, grateful for his care and attention. Thanks, Katsuki. He says softly, feeling a little better already, just from having him by your side. He sits beside you, running his fingers through your hair as you lean against him, finding comfort in his presence. I hate seeing you like this. He admits gruffly, his voice betraying his vulnerability. You reach up to cuff his cheeks, smiling weakly at him. I'll be okay, Katsu. Just need some rest and your amazing care. You tease him, trying to lighten the mood. He rolls his eyes, but leans down to press a gentle kiss to your forehead. Well, you better get better soon, or I'll have to kick whoever made you sick. He grumbles, his lips quirking into a small smile. You chuckle softly, feeling grateful for his love and support. As you drift back to sleep, you know that with Bakugo by your side, you'll be able to incur anything, even a nasty stomach bug. Tadaruki Shoto, you wake up to the sound of retching, your stomach turning uncomfortably. Opening your eyes, you see Tadaruki, your loving boyfriend. Sitting up beside you, concern evident in his etrochromatic gaze. Are you okay, Wyan? He asks softly, reaching out to brush a strand of hair away from your face. You shake your head weakly, feeling terrible as a wave of nausea hits you. I don't think so. You mumble before doubling over, emptying the contents of your stomach into the trash can. Tadaruki's expression softens with worry as he helps you set up, rubbing your back soothingly. You must be feeling awful, he murmurs, his voice filled with empathy. You nod, feeling embarrassed and miserable all at once. I'm really sorry, Shoto. He apologizes, wishing you could just disappear, really embarrassed. He shakes his head his white-colored hair falling gently and around his face. Don't apologize, Wan. I'm just worried about you. He assures you, his hand moving to cup your cheek tenderly. You lean into his touch, finding comfort in his presence despite your discomfort. I don't know what's wrong with me. You admit, feeling helpless. Daughter keep her sick kiss to your forehead. His lips warm against your skin. It's okay. We'll figure it out together. He says softly, his voice filled with determination. He helps you to the bathroom, fetching a glass of water and some crackers for you to nibble on. Sitting beside you, he holds your hand as you try to settle your stomach. You really don't have to stay with me, Shoto. I'll be just fine. You protest weakly not wanting to inconvenience him. 
He shakes his head, his expression resolute. I want to be here for you, Wan. That's what partners do. He insists, his eyes filled with love and devotion. You smile gratefully at him, feeling incredibly lucky to have him in your life. As you lean against him, finding solace in his embrace, you know that with Tadaraki by your side, you can weather any storm, even a bout of sickness. Curse you, my dear O. You awaken abruptly to the sound of retching. Your stomach twisting uncomfortably. Blinking away the grogness, you realize that Kirishima, your steadfast boyfriend, was already beside you. His eyes wide with concern. Hey, baby, are you okay? He asks gently, reaching out to brush a stray strand of air away from your forehead. You shake your head weakly, feeling absolutely wretched, as another wave of nausea washes over you. I don't think so. He managed to croak out before succumbing to another round of vomiting. Kirshi was rose for her with worry as he helps you set up, holding you steady as you empty your stomach. You're not feeling so good, huh? He remarks softly, his voice leaves with empathy. You nod, feeling utterly embarrassed and miserable. I'm sorry, Ichiro. You murmur feeling guilty for ruining what should have been a peaceful morning. He shakes his head adamantly, his fiery red hair catching the morning light. Don't apologize, babe. I'm just worried about you. He assures you, his hand moving to rub soothing circles on your back. You lean into his touch, finding comfort in his presence, despite your discomfort. I hate feeling like this. You admit, feeling utterly drained. Kirishima presses a tender kiss to your temple. His lips warm against your skin. I know, but I'm here for you, okay? We'll get through this together. He promises, his voice filled with unwavering support. With his help, he make your way to the bathroom, where he leaves you quickly to fetch a glass of water and some crackers for you to nibble on. Sitting beside